welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a grocery haul and boy is it big. I typically do grocery orders Sunday nights to be picked up for Monday uh, start of the week. So Monday mornings are usually pretty bare in this house. We were, de ah, today was really bare. We had no milk, a uh, little bit of bread, not a lot of breakfast options, but when I do the pickup orders on Mondays, we are set for the week. I like to wait to Sunday night to place the orders. That way when new circulars come out and new pricing comes out, everything I can prep around that, I can place my order and I can pick it up on Mondays, which sometimes works out great, sometimes doesn't. But this week we've done pretty good. We have a pretty big load here. Um, I think I did dinners for six nights this week. Um, we'll see how it goes. and. I think tonight I'm planning on doing uh, stuffed peppers in the Instant Pot, which is me and my Instant Pot do not get along, but uh, tonight's not as crazy as a night, So, but I also don't want to be in the kitchen for hours cooking uh, on a Monday night. So Instant Pot makes it a little bit easier to do, although I'm seriously afraid of it. So I'm going to take you along and let you see what I got. Okay, so I'm going to start with the freezer section because, you know what, it is 88 degrees here in Jersey today and this stuff is sweating. <laughs> so we're going to go through this real quick. I'm going to put a, get them in the freezer and then I'll keep going. But my son's obsessed with these. He eats them by the box fill. They're never on sale and at least my big box stores that I've been in, I don't see them sell them with the cheese in it. So... It was a little bit of a uh, reluctant purchase for today, but I know he knew I was going to shop right, and I picked them up for him. I do know they sell, I'm pretty sure they sell them at Walmart, and they're a little bit cheaper, but still. Ugh, not a lot in a box, but anyway, he likes those for a snack. Uh, this is also a splurge for me. I usually don't do this, but I like to kind of keep things like this in the freezer for days when all of a sudden I'm feeling like I'm going to pass out, and then I remember I haven't eaten anything. So that's just good for me to go to the freezer. I know I have these instead of to the pantry to eat the box of chocolate chip cookies. These are for a Hawaiian sticky uh, slow cooker meal that I'm going to make towards the end of the week. These are for a quick um, weeknight, not really dinner. Sometimes my son, my little guy likes to have meatballs. And, you know, if obviously if I'm in a rush, I'm not making... Uh, fresh meatballs so we I like to keep I actually never tried these so I'm hoping that he likes them and it's something that I can keep on hand in the freezer this is just our needed a little bit of pasta in the house polenta this is what we're going to make with our uh, stuffed peppers tonight we're going to do the meats uh, so I can get that in the fridge so we have um, let's see ground turkey which is for tonight for the stuffed peppers we have meatloaf mix, which will be for our meatloaf towards the end of the week. We have London broil. I'm um, pretty sure this was on sale. That's why I got this. And I'm uh, going to be making that one night this week. We have salmon that we're going to be doing this week. We have chicken was $1.99 a pound. So I got three of these because um, we go through chicken like we go through milk. So <laughs> stocked up on that. I have a rotisserie. Uh... Yeah, just the chicken breast. I thought I got a whole chicken, but I'm glad I got this because this is really the only meat I use. Um, my son loves buffalo chicken dip, so I got that for him. I thought it'd be a nice after-school snack this week. Uh, three gallons of milk. That's what we buy. Uh, that's what I buy each time I do a grocery haul. We go through milk like crazy. Uh, two almond milks. We have some OJ, uh, some lem some lemonade. Uh, I think that's it for the fridge. Oh, and by the way, my last video I did a clean out of the fridge, which was on. Um, this past Friday, which I like to try to do to go into the weekend using up what we have left and seeing, you know, what I need to get for the new week. And we did pretty good. I mean, fridges, I like to see it pretty bare when I go to restock stuff. So that means we're not too wasteful. Um, we have some yogurts here we got to finish up, but these typically last a while. We still have some nugs. We got to refill the cheese bins. So yeah, we're looking good here. Uh, veggies. Okay, got ourselves some Brussels sprouts. Big thing of fresh broccoli, strawberries, and as convenient and so nice as it is to do pickup orders and, you know, when you get the orders delivered, it's just, this is the downfall. 
like moldy, moldy strawberries. Wait, there was, yeah, there's one there. I just, you know, I get it. I get sometimes that, you know, there's a lot going on and they have a lot of orders, but it's right on the top. <laughs> but that's okay. That's what you get for convenience. So we'll just toss that and we'll do what we can with the rest. We have apples. We have bananas, which we also go through uh, pretty quickly. We have spinach. We have spring mix salad. Peppers for our stuffed peppers tonight. Uh, let's see. This is Italian parsley. Uh, green beans. Shing beans. Uh, what do we got here? We have cilantro and some fresh ginger, which is another thing I don't always have on hand. But um, when I do, I take the skins off and keep them in the freezer. And they stay pretty good that way since I don't use that all the time. But it's good to have. Cheese, cheese and crackers. This all my kids also love with um, some club crackers. It's got that. Cream cheese. One is for the buffalo chicken dip. Fresh mozzarella. This is, uh, let's see if it gets eaten or it sits. My daughter requested this. Um, I don't know if she's going to like it, but we will see. Uh, biscuits to go with our meatloaf. Tomato sauce, which this was like a little, little stock up on this. I really need to restock my tomato sauce area. We have beef broth, chicken broth, uh, Nutella because, I mean... How can you not? And it's just really appropriate that I put it on top of the peanut butter, which, by the way, if you ever have a little craving, just a little scoop of Nutella, a little scoop of peanut butter together on a spoon. Okay, thank me later. Uh, mini muffins. Now, these are the vein of my existence. I hate buying them. I'm actually going to do a, um, you know, a, a, a recipe for mini muffins are supposed to be like a copycat of these that I made in the past and the kids, not all of them, but some of them like them. So I'm going to try to redo that. These are just so quick and easy for snacks for school for during the weeks, but I don't like buying them. I have to hide them in the top of my pantry or else they'll be gone in five minutes. But some salad dressings. This is more for the buffalo chicken uh, dip. This I love to do with um, spinach and... Um, uh, do I put blue cheese? Blue cheese, gorgonzola cheese, I don't know, spinach, strawberry salad. So good with this um, raspberry walnut. It's kind of like a vinaigrette. Uh, big box of Cheez-Its, Z-Bars. This is, it is, you know, it's summertime's coming when we're stocking up on the marshmallows and the Hershey bars. And I have a huge box of graham crackers from last uh, grocery. So we are good with that. Pirate booty. Um, according to my oldest son, BJ's makes the best black and white cookies. So if he knows I do BJ's and don't buy those, he gets upset. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs because, you know, some mornings we can't be doing it all. Gotta have some Cocoa Puffs. Uh, we have some salsa. We have our marinara sauce, which I don't always like to buy my red sauce. But when I do... I buy Rios. <laughs> uh, goes kind of hand in hand with the frozen meatballs when my son just wants uh, something substantial for during the week and I don't have time to be making sauce and all that. So we do get the Rios. Super, super good. Um, we have some deli meats, cold cuts, cheese, turkey. My little guy loves turkey and salami which I'm so happy for. I wish my other kid, well, my oldest eats turkey, but I mean, my little guy probably eats more than um, all of them combined. Have some just white bread. We actually went really late on the bread this week because I have some still uh, in the pantry. So, and bread, we know, does not last very long. I mean, I do keep a uh, majority of it in the fridge, which prolongs it, but so we got some, uh, which ones are these? Oh, just some club rolls. Uh, for sandwiches. Oh, I skipped by this. This, I'm jumping on the train probably super late, but I, I actually really enjoy it as a drink. Um, I'm going to actually make myself one in a, in a few minutes. 
um, you put, I believe this is four scoops, and this is the lemon one. And I'll tell you, when I first tried it, I think I like, I, I didn't like it. But after having it for a little bit and realizing that you really have to stir or else the powder gets all like coagulated, if that's the, that's the correct term. But you really got to stir it in. And then I started putting um, apple cider vinegar in it because, I don't know, supposedly apple cider vinegar is supposed to like, you know, create world peace and um, cure all our problems. <laughs> so, well, obviously I'm just kidding, but it's supposed to be really good for your body, your digestive system, I don't know. So I put two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in this in water, um, and it's actually a pretty good drink. I like it anyway, I like so I like vinegar, I like um, tart flavors, so that's been my thing lately. Um, yeah, I think that, oh, I forgot, no, just we have some snack bags over here, which is also another thing I don't do all the time, but convenience this week. And my son's allergies are a little running rampant, so we got him some tissues. <laughs> have this amount of bananas left but as soon as my kids start seeing brown they're out I mean not all of my kids eat bananas but the ones that do the second there's a little bit of brown on it they, they don't even look at them so we just got a few new guys since now that I didn't buy a lot they'll eat them all today so just throwing that out there these were gonna freeze I'd never throw my bananas away I always freeze them so we're gonna go ahead and do that Parsley and cilantro here I'm going to get. I store them in vases in the fridge in water with baggies on top. I'll show you. That's the best way I find to keep especially the parsley fresh cilantro I don't always have in the house, but I'm making something with this this week. So we're going to do it as well. This is my drink that I've been making. Uh, it's the four tablespoons of the vital proteins and then I put in two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar, and you really have to stir. Like I said before, I actually was, because this stuff's not cheap. So I, when I first got it and I was drinking it, I was like, ugh, how do people drink this? It was, but I wasn't stirring it enough, and plus I don't think it likes ice, because I was doing that too for a little bit. So just make sure you really stir it in there, scrape it down from the sides, and I put this apple cider vinegar in there. And now I'm taking my bananas that I used to slice them before I froze, um, put them in the freezer. And it's not necessary because bananas, even when they're frozen, are super, super easy to break in half. And we use them a lot for smoothies and smoothie bowls. So I don't necessarily need them in, uh, you know, little tiny kind of slices. So I just put them in their hole. And I'm putting my cilantro and my parsley in vases, cut the bottoms, take out, take anything, you don't want any leaves in the water or, you know, as little as possible, put the baggies over top. And I find that this is the best way for me to store um, my parsley. Washing my strawberries. Oh, which by the way, oh, this was like a treat for me. I shouldn't have did this. Why did I do this? Should not have done this because Oh, dairy free. Interesting. Made with, all right, it's healthy. Hooray. These nuggets, so they don't sell them at BJ's, but they do sell them at Costco and they do sell them at Sam's Club. And my nine year old, who is, I know everyone says their kids are picky eaters, and I'm one of them, but he literally eats nothing. 
And when I find something that he loves, he says these taste like Chick-fil-A. And they are so good. I cut them up and put them on salads for lunch, even for dinner. And they are so, so good. So last time, uh, last week I was at Sam's and bought two bags of these. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Supposedly there's a Costco brand that... Um, it's like a dupe for, uh, not a dupe, like, well, I guess it is a dupe, a copycat, uh, chicken nugget for that. And I heard it's really good too. I didn't have a ton of fruit to wash this, um, day. I was planning on going to Aldi at some time this week and kind of stocking up more on my fruits and veggies. BJ's was out of a lot of stuff, but typically I do a water and vinegar wash, Make sure everything gets really dried, really, really good. Fruit goes pretty fast in my house, so I don't have to worry about it um, getting too moldy. But if I do buy a ton of fruit, I will not wash all of it right away because I just feel like it makes it go so bad so much faster. So hopefully we'll get to Aldi this week and I'll stock up on some more fruit and veggies. But tonight I am making stuffed peppers in my Instant Pot and they are so, so good. This particular recipe coins them as a healthy um, stuffed pepper, and it definitely is healthier than uh, you know your normal meat and um, mozzarella cheese type stuffed pepper. But these, they come out so good. Now I'm prepping my peppers, and all I'm going to have to do is put them in the, in the Instant Pot when I'm ready to cook them. Otherwise, if you're doing this, um, you know, when you're ready to, to put them, you just do what I'm doing now and directly put them into your Instant Pot. So it's a pound of ground turkey or ground chicken or ground beef, you know, whatever your preference is. Um, we're doing a tablespoon of chili powder and then a teaspoon each of cumin, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I mean, I usually, I'm not a huge measurer but um, today I use measuring, uh, you know, spoons and kosher salt, half a teaspoon, but I always use more salt, Pe black pepper. I put, um, what did I just put in there? Oh yeah, a can of diced tomatoes. The recipe calls for green chilies and diced tomatoes, but I had a can of just regular diced tomatoes, threw that in there with their juices. I had quinoa in my refrigerator left over, so that's what I'm using. You can use rice, white rice, brown rice. I put in about three quarters of a cup of uh, Mexican cheese and we're stirring it all together, getting it all nice and combined. Then you wanna stuff your peppers. Obviously, however big your peppers are is how much or little you'll have of your mixture. Mine were pretty big, so I filled them to the top, um, but they weren't overflowing. And really make sure you push, get them all the way down to the bottom. Fill those puppies up because um, when they're done and you're going to see I, I put them over polenta. This recipe really is so simple. It's just a matter of mixing and sticking them in your Instant Pot when you're ready to cook. And the polenta comes out. It looks like a million bucks. Like you spent so much time and it's really such an easy, easy, simple dinner. So you're putting a half a cup. Oh, hold on. Let me... Let me check this. I mean, yeah, a oh, one and a half cups. My, I have a big Instant Pot, so I did one and a half cups of water in the bottom. Place your peppers in there. Close the lid. Make sure you put it to non-venting. Non-venting. You don't want the steam coming out. You want it to be non-venting. Um, learned that when I first got this years ago. I don't use it often. Um, and you're going to let those cook. I think it's 10 minutes. Um, but obviously in your Instant Pot, it's got to come up to pressure, so it's never as little time as the recipe says. But really, it's so easy. You put it in there, you set it, it's done. I'm going to link the recipe below too so that you um, you guys can, can see it. It really is so good. Now, this is polenta. To me, they're Italian mashed potatoes. They're so easy to make. Literally takes boil some water, do your package directions. Um, you have to stir for a couple of minutes, but it comes together super, super quick. A little bit of butter on the ends, and you're done. Literally three minutes. And these are our instant uh, pot stuffed peppers. Put some extra cheese on the top. Just going to put the lid back on just to melt that cheese. But, oh, like, look at this. It looks like you cooked for hours and hours, and it literally was throwing everything in a bowl, sticking it in a pepper, 
and putting it in the Instant Pot. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to stick around, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. See you in the next one. Bye.